Hi guys, Nicole Lake Erie Prepper here. I uh, got a couple things in the mail today. I want to open them up for you guys. They're with you guys. Let's see what we got. Take a look. Let's see, it's wrapped up. Oh man. I ordered <laughs> some waterproof containers. But I thought they were going to be a lot bigger than this. I guess that'll learn me <laughs> to uh, read the descriptions a little better. I thought they were at least going to be like that big. But they're not. They're a lot smaller. I got the three colors they had. Like a coyote. An orange. And a black. Let's see here. Alright. They have lanyard holes. What was that? I thought I seen something off screen. Scary. It's got one, two, three, four clips. It does have the styrofoam inside, make it shock proof, and it's got a big o ring on it. So we know that it's waterproof. It's a Kuyo. Kuyo. I don't know why they didn't stick that. I think that they would want their name on it, but hey, that works for me. Got three of them. I don't know if I intend to use them all for myself or my aunt has been getting into uh, prepping and being prepared. Um, so we've been talking about a EDC bag for herself that she can keep on her in her car and be able to bug out with so maybe I'll make her up a little fire kit or something to keep in her EDC I think she would get a kick out of that yep they're all the same come with a sticker shock proof I suppose they're pretty spacious for as tiny as they are. Alright. That's a little disheartening that they're so small. Whoops. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? I didn't pay very much for them. Alright, we got another one. There we go. Yeah, the point if they're not blown up, right? <laughs> One of them is blown up out of this whole thing. One. Alright, what do we got? A classic patch knife. <laughs> Pretty sharp. Pakistan. Full tang. Some stylish jumping on the bottom. That's pretty sharp.
Yeah, I don't see any. Uh, there's a little bit of burr on there. Which... Was it a straw that you used? A leather straw? Strawbing? I'm learning, guys. Mm, it's real leather. I could smell it. I love the smell of real leather. Love it, love it, love it. Between that smell and fat wood, it's like heaven, right? Oh yeah, that's a nice leather, real leather sheath. Got your belt hole. Not bad, not bad at all. I like it. I'm not quite sure, but all these, I don't know if you can tell, those four are all raised up. I'm not quite sure if they're supposed to be that way or not. Maybe for grip? But I think that that would chew into your hand if you didn't wear a glove. Handle's a little on the small side. <laughs> But I guess it, that works. Jipping stops your thumb from slipping, which is kind of nice. I didn't pay very much for this either. So, for the price, it's not bad. And if you guys want to know the prices, I can look those up. Just leave a comment, and uh, I'll respond. Alright, I'm highly satisfied with that. Very nice. Nice indeed. It is by 8 inches overall. Burl wood handle. Blade length is 5 inches with a 3 inch handle. And sheath. Just says Pakistan. DH7988. SSI must be the brand. SSI. Alright. And I did post a video of me going to the shops the other day. Um, I really only did it for um, Sammy. Sammy's always going to the shops and looking for bargain items. So I had to show her that in America we have a store. Which I know she knew we had a store. But I wanted to take her along the journey. Of our one dollar Dollar Tree store where everything is a dollar plus tax. <laughs> uh, I picked up this little test tube with holder. I just thought it was pretty interesting. You can write anything you want on it, it tells you how many milliliters, 50 milliliter container. With the screw top. I'm betting that it's waterproof. And it came with two of them. Make a fishing kit or something out of those, I thought. Tuck them away in your bag. Make a fishing kit for my aunt. She can put it in her EDC bag. Since we live on the lake, it's not hard to find a river or the lake. Uh, also... Pretty damn good bargain. You get 20 glow stick bracelets, which they're just, you know, well about that length, a little shorter. And you can put the plastic piece on or not. I thought those are always a good thing to have in your bug out bag. And I use them a lot for night fishing. I uh, tape it to the end of my rod. So when I'm night fishing, I can just leave my pole set, and that glow stick will go once we got a big old catfish on there. It helps me out tremendously. I started with just the little tiny ones that you can get and putting it on, but I found that it's a lot, A, a lot cheaper just to get, for a dollar I get 20 of them. And a better visibility because it 
goes a longer length and you can see it. Another thing I picked up at the old Dollar Tree was some jute twine. Thought it was nice. It had a nice green color in there too. Mix it up a little bit. Excellent, excellent source of tinder. Takes a spark like that. I thought about uh, making some wax jute twine for the fire kit. It'd be good to stick in my ant's bug out bag. Uh, another thing I picked up were these tins. We got four of them. For that's right, a dollar. Sorry, I know that's probably loud. Not bad little tins. They're sturdy. I mean, there's no bend in them. They're thicker quality than an Eltoid tin. That's for sure. Not bad, not bad at all. These are 2.1 inch tins. And they got a little depth to them. Again, a little fishing kit or... Really anything you can make a mini Altoid tin or anything you want. I got four of them for a buck. Or make yourself a light my fire little uh, cotton, jute twine, some fat wood, fill it with wax, kind of like Sammy's. Famous fire starters. I know I reference Sammy a lot, but she's the first person I really watched that got me going on this. And, you know, I guess uh, you could say she's a bit of a mentor for me. And then I grabbed another pack of two 2.9 inch or 7.4 centimeter tins as well. Same. There's no bend in them. They're sturdy. Pretty deep. Not bad at all. For a buck for two, you can't beat that. I'm going to have to keep my eye out to see if they come up with any square ones. But I don't see no harm in circular ones either. I like them. I like them a lot. Alright. That's pretty much it. I picked up this bag just because I thought it was cute and it was a dollar. Um, and in my bug out bags, I like to keep things. Normally, I get clear ones, but even if I just stick my nephew's crayons or something in this, I thought it was cute. Top secret official report case two, three, four, five, six, seven. Officer on duty, officer blank. Date blank. Rating level extreme. Details. Arson report. Building caught on fire because suspect was too hot. Fire department called. Authorized personnel only. Do not copy. Official report. I just thought it was cute. And you can't beat it. It's a zipper. You can store a lot of stuff in there. Actually, I could store some of my leftover gear, like my jute twine, or glow sticks, or contents for my Eltoids tins. I think I'm going to make up a bunch, and uh, on Facebook, they have all kinds of garage sale sites, and I've actually sold a couple of my Eltoid survival tins on the Facebook uh, garage sale sites for 15 bucks. Um, a lot easier for people to uh, buy one, I guess, than it is to make one. But that's it for this evening. Um, maybe you guys checked out my other video today. It was just a gorgeous sky outside, and I had to capture it and share it because, I mean, I'm a big sunset, sunrise girl, and you'll probably see a lot of them come up this summer, especially if I'm out fishing or out in the boat um i'll be sure to uh let you guys witness the beauty as well i uh, hope you guys all have a good night and i will see you in the next one bye guys